Good morning. Netherlands, again, third day in a row, I believe, because Prime Minister Mark Rutte is retiring from politics altogether. Earlier he said that he's resigning as the PM. A lot of people said, oh, he'll be back. Now he's, he's leaving. He's an, he announced this yesterday. This is what he said. Yesterday morning I made the decision that I will not be available again as leader of the Liberal Party. So what do you think happened? Well, media is shocked. <laughs> you know, they, they were shocked when Nicola Sturgeon left. Shocked. And same thing with uh, Jacinda Ardern. They were shocked. And now they are shocked again. So what do you think happened? Well, I strongly believe that this was personal for Mark Rutte, because I can imagine what it's like to be Mark Rutte. No. Nothing wrong with the name. It's just that he betrayed the country. You know, I believe that these politicians, when they approach the top of politics, they get it. If I want a good career, I have to betray my own countrymen. I have to sell them out. And I don't think this was a problem at all for this asshole, Mark Rutte, but still, he had to do it, right? And it's quite an uncomfortable thing to do, isn't it? It must be. Now, I mean, he lives there. He lives in the Netherlands, right? I think he's got kids. And these kids go to school and he's moving around and he, he sees his countrymen knowing that he sold them out and they are starting to understand that that's what he did you know it's quite a situation isn't it so of course uh, his bosses i'm sure this got something to do with it too you know, his the top globalist assholes they thought they were looking at the ne netherlands and they thought no we have to get rid of this guy now we have to get somebody new, somebody fresh, who can do the next project, you know. I think it's a combination, but I, I'm quite sure about this. He wanted to get out, because it wasn't nice. This is what they do, you know. There are exceptions to this, but I can think we can expect anyone who get to the top in politics today there's a big chance that he will sell you out. Because this is the reason for them to be there in the first place. There are exceptions. But uh, I think we can expect it. It's, I think it's better to expect it. You know? This is what they have to do in order to get this career. Now they have to get him out, I think. They will get him to some posh place and a good job, Mark Rutte, him and his family moving out. You know. Because people are under starting to understand at least what he did. Now our job is of course to make it uncomfortable for them. I think we can start from the very beginning. You know. As soon as they enter the office, if we expect them to sell us out, and we start attacking them, making it uncomfortable for them. Maybe, eventually, it will be hard to find somebody good enough to run this job, to do this job. You know, for the globalist assholes, it's could, it could be hard. Maybe, in the future. I suppose they will have to go to the prisons to find them, eventually. Somebody who is tough enough and criminal enough to do the job. <laughs> I mean, look at Hillary Clinton, for instance. I think she was the worst. I actually believe so. She was the worst. And she didn't become the president. This is an investment, of course, for the globalist assholes. They invest a lot of time and money in these people. And I'm sure they invested a lot in Mark Rutte. 
This is why I like it, you know, when they have to go away. That's why I like it. Now they have to get somebody new. Now our job is to attack them, of course. Those who are truly traitors. I think we can start from the very beginning. Now, another job that we have is to get to the top guys, of course. Well, I think we are doing a fine job with this. They are making this possible, all of it. They offer these careers to these guys. They tell them what to do and what to say. You know. We have to get to them. Alright. Be good.